can we hide to watch butterflies? <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Guess what? We're going to do some butterfly watching today. <laughs> wee, wee! Butterfly watching! Where are we going, Jess? To the Whispering Woods. Willow says there are loads of butterflies in the trees. Do you want to come too? Great! Let's go! <laughs> right, now let's find some butterflies. somewhere special to hide so that the butterflies don't get frightened. What do you think would work, Jess? I think we should build a special hiding place right here. Yeah! Yeah! How do we do that, Jess? Hmm, I'm not sure. Let's think. What can we use to build a special hiding place to watch butterflies? Hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lotta. What? Ask a lotta. Where? Ask a lotta. Why? Ask a lotta. Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? What can we use to build a special hiding place to watch butterflies? It needs to look like it fits in so that the butterflies don't notice us. Oh! <laughs> Let's make it out of natural things around us. What things? Hmm. We need help, Jess. Who should we ask? Do you know? He's green and small, and he's always making musical instruments out of natural things he's found on the farm. Is it Horace, Mimi, or Bar? It's Horace, yes! Come on, let's go and see Horace. Yes, we'll need something to put our building things in. You're right. I know, we can use the trolley. OK, we'll get it and meet you there. I'll race you. Hmm, what can you use to make a special hiding place to watch butterflies? Well, nature's always a good place to start. Oh, like my stone shaker here. Oh, you see, it's just stones in a pot, but they make a great sound. Hey, that's brilliant! Fantastic! <laughs> Get with the beats. <laughs> <gasps> that's it. We could use stones to build our special hiding place. So you could. Whoop -de -whoop. We're going to need bigger stones than those, though. Here's a big stone. And here. I've got this one too. Perfect. <laughs> Yay! Oh, no. Whoa, watch out. This isn't working. It just falls over. Oh, we need something else to build with. You're right. Something lighter, maybe. Hmm. <gasps> I've got it. We were playing on something outside the stable. Can you remember what it was? Hay bales. Hay bales. Hay's a lot lighter than stones, so I think it might be easier for us to build with. Let's go and get some. Race you! <laughs> Don't forget the trolley! <laughs> Wooden apple crates? Yes, I've got lots inside. Help yourself. Thanks, Willow. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, you three. What's the hurry? 
We're building a special hiding place and we're going to use the hay to make the walls. Can we borrow this hay bale, Willow? Of course you can. Thanks, Willow. <sighs> this wooden crate's perfect. <sighs> oh. <sighs> perfect for what, Mimi? Oh, hello, Jess. It's perfect for storing my art things in. <laughs> See you later. Bye. Bye. Come on, let's go and build our hiding place. There, the last of the hay. Watch, Watch out, out, Jess! Oh, no! This isn't working either. The hay's so light. The wind keeps blowing it away. Hmm. There must be something else we can use. Let's go back to the farmyard and see what else we can find. There's nothing here but the barn. <laughs> barn? The barn's made of wood. Yes, so? So, we could build our special hiding place out of wood and then it wouldn't fall down or blow away. Brilliant! Yes, but we can't use the barn. We need something else made out of wood. <gasps> Wait a minute. Willow has some things we could use. Do you know what I'm thinking of? Is it flower pots, wheelbarrows, or old apple crates? The old apple crates, yes! Well done! I bet Willow will let us have some. Race you! Hey! Wait for us! We're building a place, a place to hide A special place to hide inside We tried building it with stone but it all fell down Boom! Smash! Wow! What a crash! We tried building it with hay but it all blew away The wind puffed and puffed Question soon. <laughs> Bye. Why is Hedgehog curled up in a ball? <laughs> oh, hello. I'm going to play with the others. Do you want to come? Where is everyone? Joey. Jinx. One's here. Maybe they're hiding. Aha! Billy could fit in a teeny tiny hole like this. <laughs> Billy! No. Hedgehog. Wow, you're thirsty. <laughs> That's 
funny. Willow told me hedgehogs usually only come out at night. Scary! <laughs> <laughs> there you are. I've been looking for you. Do you want to play scary steps, Jess? Oh, yes, please. Do you want to play hedgehog? 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 Are you all right? Hmm. He's all curled up. But why? Why is Hedgehog curled up in a ball? Hey! That's the big question. <laughs> Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Ask a lot of why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? Why is Hedgehog curled up in a ball? Maybe he's playing a game. A curling up in a ball game. Let's play too. <laughs> oh. It's too hard. I'd rather play scary steps. Me too. <laughs> hmm. <gasps> Maybe he wants to play our game. Let's play scary steps and then he might uncurl and join in. Yay! Good idea. OK, Hedgehog, this is how you play. I close my eyes and Jinx hides. Now I find her. One scary step, two scary steps, three scary steps. Scary! Ah! <laughs> 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 He's still all curled up. He definitely doesn't want to play. We do. Where's the best place to play scary steps? Somewhere with lots of trees to hide behind. The whispering woods. Right. I'll come and play when I found out why hedgehogs are all curled up. Thanks, Jess. See you later. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what these twigs and leaves are doing here. I know. You're moving house, hedgehog. Willow told me that hedgehogs collect twigs and leaves at this time of year to help build their nests. We saw a little hole that would make a good home for someone small, didn't we? Where was it? By the pond, on the path, or under the twisty tree? Under the twisty tree, that's right! Hedgehog? If I help you move house, will you uncurl for me? Hey, you've uncurled. That's great. It's much easier to move house when you're not curled up in a ball. Come on. I bet you curled up in a ball because you wanted me to help you. That must be the answer to the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay! <laughs> Hello, you two. Are you coming to play scary steps in the whispering woods? Yes, but I'm helping Hedgehog move house first. <gasps> oh, not again. Why is he rolled up in a ball? I don't know. I thought he did it because he wanted me to help him, but I have helped him and he's done it again. Could just be asleep. <gasps> of course, Billy. Willow told me that hedgehogs usually sleep in the daytime. And this is day. Maybe we should tickle him with a leaf to wake him. I don't think he'd like that, Billy. Hmm, maybe not. But I know who will. <laughs> we should leave him alone now so we can have his nap. Come on, Jess. We can play scary steps while Hedgehog's sleeping. I will, after I've answered the big question. Hedgehog, you're not having a nap. So if you don't curl up in a ball to nap, why do you curl up? Hmm. Scary! Ah! <laughs> Hello, Mimi. Are you coming to play scary steps? Yes. But I've got to answer the big question first. <gasps> oh, look! He's done it again! Look at all his funny spikes. I'd rather have nice warm fur. 
<gasps> Mimi! That might be the answer. Maybe he's rolling up into a ball to keep warm. Brilliant. Are you coming to play scary steps now, then? Well, I'd like to, but I'm not sure I've quite answered the question. He might be cold, but it doesn't feel that cold today. I tell you what, I'll go and get everyone to come and play scary steps here. Then you can watch Hedgehog while we play. I'll be right back. Thanks, Mimi. <gasps> You've uncurled again. Maybe you're not cold. Maybe you're too hot. I know what will cool you down. A nice drink of water. Where can we get some water for Hedgehog to drink? We saw him drinking there earlier. Was it at the puddle? At my barn? Or at Mimi's hutch? At the puddle! That's right! Come on! Hedgehog? That's it! I saw him curl up when you shouted scary. And, and now I think about it, every time someone shouted scary, Hedgehog curled up in a ball. Don't be scared, Hedgehog. We're very sorry for scaring you. Yes, sorry, sorry Hedgehog. Sorry. Hello. You've uncurled. And we've answered the big question. Yippity-yay! Yippity-yay! Shh! Oops. Sorry, Hedgehog. <laughs> Yippity-yay! 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 Hooray! curled up in a ball because he was scared. Sleep well, Hedgehog. See if you can spot Hedgehog out at night. But he's very, very shy, so be careful not to scare him. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye! What's the funny little creature in the pond? Oh, hello. I'm going to go and see Horace today. Do you want to come too? Great! Come on. Maracas, castanets. Hi, Horace. What are you doing? Hey, Jess. I'm going to visit my cousins for a while. Can you pass me the pan pipes? I'm glad you're here, Jess. I, I wanted to ask a favour. Would you look after my pond friends while I'm away? Of course. I like looking after things. Cool. I knew I could rely on you, Jess. Bye. Bye, Horace. Have a great time. What was that? Ooh, a funny little wriggly thing. It's a new friend. Hello. Little wriggly thing. Oh. friend's gone. I wonder what the funny little animal is in Horace's pond. Hey! That's the big question! Who? Ask a lot of what? Ask a lot of Where? Ask a lot of Why? Ask a lot of Ask it, test it, find a way. Yes, with Jess, come on, let's play. What's the question here today? What's the funny little animal in Horace's pond? Funny little animal? What funny little animal? What did it look like? Well, it had a round head and a sort of tail. It's too hard to explain. I wish I had a picture to show you. I need someone who's good at painting and drawing. Who shall I ask? Can you guess? She's pink, she's got big floppy ears 
and she's brilliant at drawing. Is it Willow, Mimi or Pa? Mimi, that's right. Come on. <laughs> And he had a little white mark on his nose. That's it. Perfect. It's a fish. I don't think so. Hmm. Are you sure? It's got a tail like a fish and a mouth like a fish. What else can it be? Hey, let's call him Freddy. Freddy the fish. Freddy the fish. Freddy the fish. <laughs> Freddy the fish. <laughs> I mean to take another look at him. Just to check. Bye. Hello? Freddy? Are you there? <sighs> no, he's not here. I wonder where he's gone. I'll have to keep looking for him every day until I find him. Freddy? Freddy? <sighs> Freddy, where are you? <sighs> Hi, Jess. Did you find Freddy? No, puppies. I've been coming every day for a week and I still haven't seen him. Huh? Freddy! Look, he's here! Hello, Freddy! That can't be Freddy. He's got legs. So he has. That's strange. He didn't have any the last time I saw him and now he's got two legs. Are you sure it's him? Yes. There's the little white mark on his nose. See? He can't be a fish if he's got legs. No, you're right. What could he be then? We need to take a closer look at Freddy. I'll ask Billy if I can use her magnifying glass. It's great for looking at things really closely. Puppies, you stay here and look after Freddy. Come on, let's go to Billy's. So you see, Billy, I really want to know what kind of animal Freddy is. That's my kind of question. Um, I was just thinking. A round head, long tail and two back legs. How big is this, Freddy? Small. Very small. That's why we need the magnifying glass. Ready when you are! Here I come! Woo! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Freddy. Um, we were playing tail chase. We forgot to keep an eye on him. <gasps> oh no! I'll never find out what he is if he keeps disappearing. Hmm, let's think. Um, you said he had legs, so maybe he's climbed out of the pond. Of course! Let's all look. Freddy! I think I've found him. Oh, <laughs> well done, Ba. Hmm, I've met one of these before. That's a newt. A newt? Hey, Jess, we found Freddy. Guess what? He's a newt. <gasps> a newt? Brilliant. That means I've answered my big question. <gasps> Hold on. That's not Freddy. It's not? No. Freddy has a white mark on his nose. And he doesn't have spots on his back either. Really? Yes. There was another difference too. The newt's got four legs. Can you remember how many legs Freddy has? Did he have two legs, three legs or six legs? Two legs. That's right. Well spotted. So Freddy isn't a newt at all? No, he's not. So what kind of animal is he? Whoop, whoop! Hi, everyone. I'm back. Hi! You've been gone for weeks. Did you have a good time? It was great, but it's good to be home. <sighs> There's nothing like your own pond.
Hey, who's this? It's Freddy! At least I think it's Freddy. Look, he's got that white mark on his nose. But now he's got four legs. And he's lost his tail. Actually, he looks just like you, Horace. <gasps> he's a frog! Oh, of course he's a frog. He didn't look like a frog when I first met him. Ah, now that's because he was only a tadpole. A tadpole? Mm-hmm. You see, Jess, all of us frogs start as tadpoles with long tails, a bit like a fish. Then we grow two back legs and our tails get shorter. Then we grow two front legs and our tails disappear. And then we turn into frogs. <laughs> Hello, Freddy. Now I know what the funny little animal in Horace's pond was. It was Freddy the Frog. We found the answer to the question. Yippity yay, yippity yay, yippity yay! Hooray! <laughs> in Horace's pond was a tadpole that grew into a frog. <laughs> Perhaps you'll find a tadpole one day. You can watch it turn into a frog, just like Freddy. Come and help me answer another question soon. Bye-bye.